Hi, hats and ink cookie wakame no tsukudani with Japanese mushrooms. Cookie wakame is wakame stems, and tsukudani is a dish simmered in soy sauce and mirin, and it has salty sweet flavor like teriyaki, and it goes great with white rice. And um, actually, cookie wakame, wakame stems are in season right now in the beginning of the spring in Japan, and I received many requests for cookie wakame recipe from my viewers. I don't know why, but I think it must be. Um, in season in other countries as well, so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll begin trying it out. Actually, my mom bought this as a souvenir. I was like, oh my god, because it was so huge. So, first, I'm going to show you how you pre cook this. Wash and separate the leaves and the stems. For example, leaves can be used for salad or soup, and the stems can be used for a simmer dish or a stir fry dish. And also you can enjoy leaves changing color in hot water and eat with ponzu sauce like shabu shabu. Okay, so to pre-cook, blanch the fresh wakame leaves in boiling water. Wash in cold water and drain. Then cut in bite-sized pieces. You do the same for the wakame stems. Then you can freeze up to a year and use for any kind of dish. So let's make tsukudani using frozen wakame stems. You can leave it in the room temperature or soak in water to defrost. Then thinly slice. Now soak dried shiitake mushrooms in hot water. It will take about 15 minutes to rehydrate. So meanwhile prepare the other ingredients. Remove the top base of shimeji mushrooms and break into pieces. Remove the tough base of enoki mushrooms, cut in half, and break into pieces. Drain the boiled fiddle heads and cut into bite-sized lens. Now thin these nice shiitake mushrooms and reserve the soaking liquid. Now everything is ready. Put the reserved shiitake soaking liquid and seasonings in a pot and bring to a boil. Add the cut ingredients and cook on medium, stirring once in a while until the liquid is almost gone for about 15 minutes. When it's done, stop the heat. Mixing ground toasted white sesame seeds to finish. Place it in a container with a lid and you can keep it in the fridge for a week. And now it's done! It is perfect for bento box as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. あの、実は去年の春、おばあちゃんがやっぱりね、あの、合わせる素材によってまたこの茎わかめの食感と美味しさが引き立つので、あの、ま、別に完全に同じレシピで作らなくてもいいから、ぜひ、あの、美味しいアレンジをして作ってみてください。これ最高です
うんうんうんうんうんいやーこれねあの一日たったらめっちゃ美味しくなった本当にあのー、大成功かもしれない美味しいですうん、うんうん、おばあちゃんのイカナゴの佃煮がめちゃめちゃ美味しいといういかなごの佃煮だけはちょっと東京では作れないので神戸に行った時に作りたいと思います Thank、you